Good day, fellow investors. I read a lot of comments by people how they are waiting for the big crash to buy. And over the last two years and three years, I've written some articles saying how there is a big likelihood that there will be a stock market crash. And now, when you look just at the stock market, it didn't happen. But when you look at stocks, individual stocks, there were many, many crashes and I have bought. So the question is, did you buy or you are still waiting for the big crash that might or might never happen. Let me show you. So if I just look at the biggest companies out there, Apple down 39% from October 2018 till January 2019. So from 233 to 142. That's a big crash. Did you buy? Facebook went from 218 to 123. That's a 44% decline. That's another crash in my eyes. Tesla went from 387 to 244, a decline of 37%. And we can say that it did that multiple times. Qualcomm went from 76.5 to 48.5, 37% decline. Just another crazy stock. Neo stock went from 13 to 5 and then again from 10 to 5. So you have plenty of crashes in the stock market. The message is simple, stocks crash all the time. So you just have to look at the businesses and wait for those opportunities. Don't get, don't get your focus obfuscated by the big market. That's just an agglomeration of 500, 505 stocks for the S&P 500 to be more precise. So a lot of people look at this and then see those big declines and I want to buy when the stock market is down, but usually that doesn't lead to good things because A, you are not investing in businesses, B, you are timing the market, which is a risky thing to do because you might miss on a lot of upside, you might miss a lot of dividends, you might miss a lot of businesses. So I personally bought stocks and from being 100% in my lump sum portfolio during 2018 as Nevson was taken over and I made a nice amount. I have invested in four stocks over the last three months and my growth portfolio is 75 or more percent invested. So small changes on the S&P 500 look small, but there have been crashes and I have found some bargains to take advantage of it. My question is, did you or you are still staying on the sidelines waiting for the big crash or perhaps having protection in gold or something like that? But the message is here, okay, that's good if that is your strategy. Can you keep it up for the next 10 years? Businesses Again, gold miners, gold mining businesses, and I have checked them all. That's why I'm saying this. I thought, okay, it would be a nice bet, but then I see, I look at businesses, oh, it's even better to invest in businesses. So the message is simple. To make investing easier, you just need to, okay, what is my required return? If your required return is 7%, 6-7%, Apple will probably deliver on a 700 billion market cap, 800 now, they will probably deliver... 50, 60 billion in cash flows over the long term. So there you have your 6, 7% yield. If you're happy with that, then you simply buy a business that will deliver over the long term. If that stock goes down, like we had the crashes, you simply buy more, you reinvest the dividend and over the long term, your returns will be even higher. The problem starts when you want to make money quickly on stock price moves. Tesla, Neo stock, what's the intrinsic value of that? What is the business value of that? What are the business returns of cash flows? Uncertain. Uh, but people are attracted by the ups and downs of the stock. Oh, we can make a lot of money. Tesla can go to 4,000. Yes, it can. But what is the risk reward? How much time do you need to spend there? How much, what are the opportunity costs for that? And that what, that is what makes speculation hard because nobody knows what will happen to Tesla in five to 10 years, not even in six months. However, if you focus on businesses, your required return on investment, then simply when a stock gets to a level or the earnings get to a level, okay, I'm happy with owning this business, you buy, no matter what happens with the stock price later. And I have found, as I said, four stocks over the last four months, three months, that simply hit a value threshold for me. And I say, okay, I'm buying, continuing my research, and I'm sure that over, given the volatility of the markets over the 
short and long term, I will find plenty of stocks. And if I find another few, I might be even 100% invested over 2019, even if others are saying there might be a crash over the next year, two years. I am looking at crashes all the time and I'm seeing huge volatility and I'm trying to take advantage of that. If I invest in a stock, it goes up 50% and then it falls 20%, I'm still positive, even if that would be called a crash. So if you want to be an investor, subscribe to this channel. If you want to own businesses, no matter what the stock does, subscribe to this channel. Look at intrinsic value, margin of safety, value investing. If you want to speculate on stocks like NEO, will it go up or down? There are plenty of other YouTube channels you can subscribe to. The message, my message is simple. We invest in businesses. We look at businesses. We take advantage of what the market has to offer. Thank you for watching. Looking forward to your comments and I'll see you in the next video.